Mike Thielen just learned how to fly down the left lane here at the Gator National. Right into the number two spot behind Dwayne Wolf as J.R. Gray and Kevin Rivenbart complete their burnouts. The first of a pair of Culp Lumber cars we're going to see back to back out here. Kevin Rivenbart with Reese Shelton now turning the screws on that car. The Mustang in the right lane. Reese would be Stan's boy. And J.R. Gray in the left lane. The second Mike Janis machine. Great contracting, Al Nobby performance. Of course, the whole team out of Mike Janis Racing. Mike Janis Superchargers. Mike and Mike Jr. Of course, in the history of Pro Modified Racing, not a whole lot of can do it better than Mike Janis behind the wheel. We've established a bump spot here in Pro Modified. It is a very, very unintimidating 1277. Two-thirds of the field in stock eliminator to qualify for Pro Mod right now. That will not be the case for much longer. J.R. Gray left. Kevin Rivenbark right. Go number one right now. You got to outrun Dwayne Wolf. 576. J.R. Gray's car is dancing out there. He's going to stick with it. 579.5. J.R. Gray goes to the number two spot at 251.8 miles per hour to take away top speed of the event. 582.4 for Rivenbark. Only 242 miles per hour. Makes me wonder if he might have just lifted out of it a tad early down there. 242 is pretty down in speed. 